We are master creators. It is in our DNA. It's in our cells. This is what we came here to do. It's so natural to us. So in this now time, all of us should be sharing exactly what we came here with, which is what we call your signature energy, um, which we can also talk about being your mission and purpose, your innate gifts and abilities, your skill set that you hold within. Some people are naturally good with numbers. Some people are naturally good with artistry. Some people are naturally good with video blogs, just saying. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's, um, we, have, we all have a unique, unique soul design. And that is probably what you're sharing with the world right now, especially if you are an entrepreneur or you're, you're uh, a massive creator, you design apps or whatever it may be, you are pretty much feeling right now that you're tapped into that mission and purpose and you're sharing it in the world and it's, you know, it's kind of okay. But do you actually feel that sometimes not sometimes, maybe all the time, there's more. Maybe you're not accessing the fullness of what you're already tapping into. So you may have got the memo and gone, right, okay, I'm really good at numbers, okay? So I'm in this creative business and this, this is what I'm doing. I'm working with numbers and it's amazing, but I feel a little bit stuck and stagnant. There's more. Or you feel like maybe you're an artist and you're just like, I've got a good thing going on. I'm really happy with my studio at home, but I'd actually like to have an international um, website that, that, that basically shows my work but it's like an itch you can't scratch so you find yourself kind of like a little bit um, uh, energy creation flow constipated as it were because you know that there's more inside but you just can't like unleash it you know but then there's also the other side of it where you may be in a certain line of work or in a career that has now run its course and you know that you can feel that there's something building up inside and you're just feeling very antsy and uncomfortable as to where you are, but you know that there's something very different waiting to come out. All of these are examples of feeling that stagnancy, feeling a little bit blocked. And what needs to happen is you need to release the energetic blocks, which may become in belief systems that you're not good enough or you'll never get paid for that, you know, or, you know, what would anybody want to see my work for? What could I possibly share with the world? Who's going to pay for that? All of these conversations come from the mental body and also you have emotions which can actually cause blockages which is like fear anxiety you know um low self-esteem worse self-worth issues all of this comes into play which then shows you that itch you can't scratch and then shows you you can't reach it or unlock it and you just get stuck in this cycle so we are in a time which is very very exciting energetically and it's all about us stepping into our power fully accessing the full energy of what we hold inside to really be those creative beings and that can be you can be running a bank you can be you know working um your coffee shop whatever it might be but wherever you are there's more so it's now time to access that fullness and it's now time to really step into sharing what you hold within with the world because it's valid and we're all waiting for it we want to see it we want to experience it share it for many, many years, I started off my spiritual path, which is a journey because we all have to go through some type of edu education qualification to get the piece of paper, right? To say that you are a life coach or to say that, you know, you can do magnet therapy on someone or whatever it is. But over time, eventually what happens is those qualifications fall away and your wisdom and your signature design, your signature energy starts to come through, which means you, you feel the urge to share your body of work. You no longer want to work for someone else. You know that you might might be able to do it better or you have a completely different vision on how it should look and you want to share that that's also like an example of that like all of these books here behind me and there's even more on that side but I've read them all and I've connected with them all but now I'm a little bit fed up with like sharing other people's work because there's their work somebody else's vision and I shine my light through it and I get a few light beams through it and you get a little bit of my essence through that. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, Marie feels a little bit like, oh, I want to stretch into this more. I'm not in my fullness. And that is when you start to become a little bit antsy and unhappy because we're supposed to be in our totality. We're supposed to be shining our light, sharing our gifts, doing amazing businesses, sharing, like doing, holding amazing ceremonies, spiritual groups, whatever floats your boat. We should be doing that in the fullness. And when we're not, 
we get kind of uncomfortable. So where we're at right now is no longer sharing other people's body of work. It's now time for you to tap into that body of work you hold within that you agreed you were going to share with the world. And that may take a little bit of contemplation. You might be sat here now going, right, okay, do I, do I feel that within? You probably do, because as I say, there's always more. Infinite possibilities can be waiting around the corner for you and your business. Infinite possibilities can be waiting around the corner for what work you can work with. It might be completely different from what you're doing now, and you might feel that like, you know, you've been working in an office, now you wanna go and run tours to Egypt or somewhere like that, completely left field. Don't squash that because that's a message from your, your soul. That's a message from spirit saying, right, this is where you really need to be. So all of, I'm like prodding you, all of these, all of these questions are to sort of like stimulate questioning from you to ask yourself, am I in my full, if I'm in alignment with what I truly came here to do, great, big fat tick. Are you in your fullness? Where could you expand more into that and take it to the next level, okay? Because that's where we're at right now. We're next level vibing, yeah? And if you're not, if you're actually where you're at a place where you're sick and tired of working for someone else, but you feel that there's something more, Start to ask yourself, go and journal, where exactly do I see myself? What makes me happy? Not to make decisions which are um, aligned, uh, like logically aligned, it kind of like, well, that makes sense. You know, I'm working in a bank, maybe I should go and do an accounting job. But are you happy in accounts? Are you happy working with money? Are you happy with working in the bank? So don't make decisions or avoid making decisions which make sense. Sometimes, if not all the time, the thing that speaks from your heart where you're like, God, I would love to go and teach cricket or I would love to go and do this, that and the other, which is completely left field for what you're doing. Those are usually the right decisions because that is your energy speaking. Whereas before you were probably an accountant because your dad was and then his dad was and blah, 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 blah. that's got to go. So bringing it all back to the to the forefront, to the pinprick, to the focus is, are you Number one, where you're supposed to be. Are you sharing your body of work in its fullness? Is there more? If there is, where can you go with that? You know, and third of all, can you sense the blocks? If there's blockages, do you need to remove something or realign your negative belief systems to be positive ones? Because if you feel that you're not worthy or you don't deserve, or you possibly couldn't give for your, to yourself because you're not worthy, then your business or, you know, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna fly. I work with so many business people who come to me for intuitive guidance to, to, to develop their businesses. You know, doing, working with a, somebody like myself isn't just about, you know, meditation and humming. There's a whole lot more than that, let me tell you. But it's like you can come and actually remove the energetic blocks that prevent you from being in your full creation mode in success, full abundance, living your best life. So when you try and remove these blocks just from the physical aspect, from trying to do change something out there, you will not get the results that you want. But when you start to tap into the energetic, meaning your energy body, to change your physical reality, then businesses start to fly, you start to realign, you start to connect within and actually really find out what it is that you came here to do. And once you tap into your inner formula, your essence, your skill set, once you tap into that, then the rest is just child's play. It just unfolds and, and away you go. And that really is as easy as it is. And I know because I've walked the path. So right now it is, it's about being seen. It's about not being scared to be seen. It's about shining your light and just being happy, being happy in what you create and at the level you're creating it. So coming to connect with myself, how I can assist and guide you in all of this, there's mentorship programs, there's sessions that you can like go work with, which will just give you the mentorship vibe, which will really work with crashing down those big, big brick walls that you feel are in your way. That's what my work is all about. My work is about bringing you back to purpose, bringing you back to self, knowing yourself, knowing that you are in alignment and you are moving that way. And then my job is to remove any blocks, anything at all that is preventing you from doing that. And then once your wheels are turning, then you're good to go. So it's a very exciting process and it's a very exciting journey. So yeah, I think you better go off and journal now, ask yourself some questions. Are you in alignment? Thank you for listening. Peace.